So what you're going to do is you take your setup position. I've got my golf bag behind me. Now I'm going to put it about a fist. So about a hand behind, let's say my butt cheeks here, the line down my back of my butt. I want about one hand width and that's where the edge of the golf bag is going to be. So it's just only a few inches here. Your sensation when you take your normal setup, normal setup position that's behind me about a hand, a couple inches, is by impact, I want to have that pressed back into the bag. Now notice how I go from here to here. My left leg is straightening. My left hamstring is pushing back onto that. Now as I'm doing that motion, you notice my chest and head go down and forward slightly and my hips are opening from me pushing them back. And so this is phase one, progression part one of fixing it. I wanna to talk to you today about Live View Golf. Now you guys hear me say all the time that you need feedback when you're practicing. You need to know if you're actually doing what you're trying to do. And the best way to give yourself feedback ultimately is video. And not only is video the best way to give yourself feedback, but being able to see yourself simultaneously as you're doing a movement is the best form of video feedback. It's the best way I've seen to make changes in your swing and be able to correlate the differences between your feels and your reels. Live View is super easy to use and set up. Simply set it up behind or in front of you. You connect it with your iPad or phone, pop that on the ground. You can actually do your practice, see yourself as you're doing it, the best way to expedite your process. I encourage you guys to check out Live View Golf. We'll put a link in the description down below with a coupon code. All right guys, so let's talk today about how to fix the loss of posture or standing up during your downswing. Now, you can see here I've got a couple items set up and I'll show you how to uh, set these up here. And really right before we dive in, and I'll show you how to do the drill in, in just a minute, in terms of loss of posture, I think it's really important to understand that usually when our brain does this move, right, loss of posture meaning when I set up, I'm bent over some amount right, about 30, 40 degrees, my hips are back. At impact, if you look like this, which is standing straight up and down, right, no hip turn, uh, chest farther from the ground, arms fully extended, that's a loss of posture. Now that's a problem because A, you're gonna have no shaft lean, so no compression, you're gonna have too much dynamic loft, the ball flies too high, and you've got no club face control, right? So if you have this problem, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, as we start to go in to fix this with the drill, and this is really the best drill to do it, you have to understand that there's reasons why your body does it. And the two main ones we see in terms of the club all the time is when your downswing gets too steep or too far over the top, your body stands up to try and shallow it, or if your club face gets too open, your body stands up to try and close the club face. So it's really doing it out of a way to help you. And so it's really important when we do this drill, this little second add-on piece, which is gonna help those two. So what's the drill to fix this? For me to get out of this stand-up posture and into a good impact position, you notice I have my golf bag uh, behind me. And this is, we have the golf bag, everyone has a golf bag, hopefully, so we can all use this. The key is to gain hip depth during the downswing. So if I stand here like this normal, if my hips move forward, my chest gets farther, I stand up. If my hips move back, my chest goes down, right? Or vice versa, if my chest goes down, my hips go back. If my chest goes up, my hips go forward. So inherently, the stand-up move is hips forward, chest up. We wanna control the hip motion part. So what you're gonna do is you take your setup position. I've got my golf bag behind me. Now I'm gonna put it about a fist. So about a hand behind, let's say my butt cheeks here, the line down my back of my butt. I want about one hand width and that's where the edge of the golf bag is gonna be. So it's just only a few inches here. Your sensation when you take your normal setup, normal setup position that's behind me about a hand, couple inches, is by impact, I wanna have that pressed back into the bag. Now notice how I go from here to here. My left leg is straightening. My left hamstring is pushing back onto that. Now as I'm doing that motion, you notice my chest and head go down and forward slightly and my hips are opening from me pushing them back. And so this is phase one, progression part one of fixing it, is you making some swings, take your setup, this is a short iron, we're going hip high, hip high, make a hip high backswing, 
Obviously my left hip is, or butt cheek is quite a bit off. I'm gonna push my hamstring back to the bag before I get to impact. That's my sensation. And what I wanna do is start to hit some shots where I just feel that, push my left hamstring back into the bag by the time I get to impact. Now, as you're doing this, if you do it correctly and you normally stand up, you should have some sensations. You should feel on your way through some or a combination of the following. On the way through, your obviously left hip is gonna feel much farther back. When you hit, it should feel like your left hip is way farther this way than normal. Normally, if you stand up, your hips would work off the wall a lot. Your hips are gonna feel way farther to the left. The second thing you're probably gonna feel as my hips push back and uh, feel far to the left, my upper body is going to feel more to the right or bent over. So my right shoulder is going to feel a little bit lower to the ground. So as I'm feeling that left hip back my, and I work through, my body is going to feel like it's tilted over much more than normal. So same little half swing. So I feel like my body's much more angled over compared to normal. I feel when I'm doing that even with my eye line. So when I come through and stand up, my eyes are very level to the ground. When I do this drill, my eyes are on an angle. It's like my eyes are tilted over, my right ear feels lower than my left. And again, these are all just different feels to do the same thing. But notice my neck is tilted over, my right ear's lower, my hips are deeper. You're gonna feel some combination of all of those things. And when you're hitting balls, you just wanna get a sensation that your hamstring is hitting the bag behind you. Again, normal setup couple inches behind you. Get a sensation with a rehearsal, what it feels like. There's my um, hamstring into it, little half one. And I'm pushing back into it. Now, if you watch that, my posture should look great. Like I maintain my spine angle, right? That's the maintain my posture. Now, the caveat, like I said, is normally this happens because someone's steep or their face is open. So if you're steep and your face is open and you do just this, you're gonna be even more steep. Your face is still gonna be open. Your posture is going to look a lot better, but you're still going to have the same issue. So we have to fix those. And how I'd start to fix them is with a little reference point on the ground. So here's my setup position. Now notice I've got a stick on the ground. This is 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock would be right down my toe line. Notice the angle of the club is just in a little bit, 3.30. I could exaggerate a little bit more to about 4 o'clock. So it's just inside my toe line. Now, when I feel this and I pose this in impact, I want to feel like, from my point of view, the shaft's over that line and the club face is slightly tilted down, either from a strong grip or your left wrist tilted down. But we want to feel those two things if you're too over the top. The club's over that stick, the club face is tilted down. Club's over that stick, club face is tilted down. I'm pushing my hip back and my hamstring back as I'm doing that motion. Now, ultimately, you should be recording yourself. Okay, this is a great drill for feedback. You should have the live view behind you. Record yourself, you can see yourself as you're doing it. Draw the line down your butt and see, oh wow, that feels like I'm pushing way back. I'm only pushing back a very little bit. This is how you fix your loss of posture. When it gets easy, again, do the rehearsal, clubs over that, club face is tilted down, hamstring works back. And I'm combining those two feels together. When that starts to go easy, right, you add more speed, you lengthen the swing. So I'd start at like 20 or 30% speed, hip high, hip high, then do some three quarter swings, feeling the same motion. Say, can I do it at a three quarter motion and still feel the same exact thing and gradually build your way up. And this is the same for driver. It's the same for fairway woods, hybrids, wedges, etc. You need to probably do this drill on a regular basis, multiple days per week for quite a few months until it becomes normal. But those would be the feels, the hip depth, the body's tilted over, the eye line and right ear are tilted over. All of those things would be normal uh, to feel. Let's do one more. And again, if you're taking too big a divots with this or too steep, you have to do some form of getting the club face shallow and the face closed. And I've got a ton of videos on how to do that. Rehearse an impact, back to here. Feel the depth through impact. So feeling that left hamstring kick back, you can allow your left leg to straighten pretty early as you do that would be fine. Gaining the hip depth, that's how you fix loss of posture. Again, make sure you're videoing this. Make sure you get the club at least shallow enough uh, with the face tilted down. And as always, you guys need help with that. 
check out GavornoGolf.com. We can help you there. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked the video, do us a favor, click that like button down below. Click the notification bell. Also, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you do like these style of YouTube videos, we're gonna go ahead and put a card on the screen for another video very similar to this one, a little more detail on this topic. If you do want more coaching from myself, help build you a personal game plan to take your game to the next level, go ahead and click the Cogorno Golf logo on the screen. Thank you guys for watching.